What's up guys, welcome back to Bagger Brothers. Right now we are feasting on fresh seafood, drinking craft beer in Northern Ireland. Stay tuned. Good morning, we are on our way out of Derry and going down the coastal causeway. We're going to be going to some landmark sites in the next couple of days. Today, we've got a fun day ahead of us, so let's pray for the weather and um, we're going to show you some beautiful sights in a bit. So we just got to Gortmoor, which is a viewpoint here on the Bishop's Road. The Bishop's Road's a really scenic piece of driving. It's really cool. There's this beautiful beach down here. I guess it's called a Firth. It's like um, where this big river estuary comes out to the ocean. It's wild. It's so green here. Honestly. This image is not saturated at all. This is as green as it gets. It's almost too green. All right, it's freezing. Back in the car. It's freezing. The tree. Oh God. Guys, we were just driving and uh, come come to a bit of an Irish roadblock. Take a look at this. Just coming down this road right now and just found this massive beach. It's super beautiful. The waves are rolling in. There's a very, very calm breeze off the ocean. And there's this cool, like, Greco-Roman looking building up top on this hill. So like, it looks like a mausoleum or something. Yeah, we're gonna go check it out. Same guy, the bishop from the Bishop's Gate Road. The Bishop of Derry used to live here. He had quite an interesting life. A lot of women can go see the ruins of this building. This used to have a roof on it until recently and uh, it's kind of fallen in disrepair, but looks good and probably pretty cool for Instagram. According to rumor, the, the bishop used to put flour outside the doors of his guest room so he could tell who was switching places during the night, being a little naughty. But uh, I think if you put flour out right now, it might just get blown away because the roof is no longer on here. Supposedly the bishop built this for his cousin. And we've had their relationship described as a ditty or a frivolity. So this is pretty cool, you guys. Just on the other side of the temple, the temple is actually on this huge property called the Downhill Estate. It's also just got this big swath of forest with like ferns and uh, supposedly some waterfalls. Just stopped in for a quick cup of coffee and apparently there are peacocks in the backyard. Peacock Whisperer. <laughs> so where are we off to, brother? So we're gonna go have lunch at Harry's Shack, which is right down the street, and it's supposed to be one of the better places to eat in this area, so food. I love food, and Ireland's got good food. 
Let's go munch. We're at Port Stewart Strand. It's a beautiful little beach. There's nice offshore it's a wind. Huge beach, bro. You can you try hop in the water, do some surfing? Uh, no. I'd rather hop into the restaurant and do some feeding. I'm Donald Doherty, owner of Harry Shack here on Port Stewart Strand in Port Stewart, Northern Ireland. We grow three acres of our own vegetables and salads and everything in Donegal. And we found this site right on the beach, which for me is a real lifestyle restaurant. Misconceptions might be that it's old fashioned, stodgy, roasts and beef and meat heavy and potato heavy. The reality is we have some of the best produce in the world from dairy produce and butters and milks to fish, of course, and this coast and the abundance of what we can catch. Central to what we do here is put our best ingredients at the forefront and sometimes do as little as possible to them. How do you say no to that? You know what I really love? I love when we get to come to a restaurant and we don't even have to order anything. We just say, just, we're in just your take hands. It away. So take, take it away. Take it away. Now we have a huge feast in front of us. We're trying to document it, and it's pretty funny because everyone here is is looking at us and laughing. I said this is what hipsters look like eating lunch. So lunch is over. It's raining outside, and we are going to go warm up with a little dram of whiskey, and not any whiskey. Bushmills, which is the oldest licensed whiskey distillery in the world. Doesn't he kind of look like Bricktop from Snatch? I think it's to be. Bagger Brothers, since way back. So what do we have here? This is the whole range of Bushmills distillery whiskey that we're having sale at the moment, everything on the market. So that's everything from our youngest, which is the five-year bourbon barrel aged blend all the way up to the, the rare 21 year single bar. If you guys make it to Northern Ireland, you must come to Bushmills and have one of these whiskey samplers. One of those things about Ireland is that the weather changes like that. And uh, we've just driven back from Bushmills to our hotel at the Giants Causeway, and there's a beautiful sunset. I love the way the light on this grass is like this little yellow tinge from the sunset. Everything blowing in the wind, it's just so beautiful. All right, guys, that's it for the day. We're going to head to the hotel, uh, but stay tuned. Tomorrow we're doing Giant's Causeway and the rest of this beautiful northern coastline. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Vac Brothers if you have not already. And in the meantime, remember, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll, and we'll see, see you guys, guys on the road. Peace! <laughs> Happen? I parked the car. <laughs>